Hello, this video was created by Darshana Bongre, a staff information developer at BMC Software, and narrated by a computer-generated voice. In this video, I will show you how to deploy the patches by using the patch group and patch job in BMC Client Management to secure your device. Before deploying the patches, ensure that you meet the these requirements. Patch Manager, which is a device for downloading the patches, should have these operating systems. Devices to be patched should have these operating systems. Ensure that you have a valid patch management license to patch devices. We begin with scanning a device for missing patches. To do that, go to Patch Management, Patch Manager, and select the configuration node of your patch manager. When you scan a device for missing patches, the results are based on the data of the patch knowledge base. The patch knowledge base consists of all information about patches like the severity of patches, download links, and descriptions. Before you scan the device for missing patches, you must verify that the patch knowledge base is up to date. If the database displays the up to date status, the patch knowledge base is already up to date. If the database status displays the out of date status, update the patch knowledge base by clicking update. The Update Manager module then deploys the new knowledge base on the clients. Patch Management offers two ways to deploy patches. Using a patch group, and using a patch job. If you are using a patch group, adding selected patches and selecting patches to apply on the selected devices are manual processes. It is preferred for servers. If you are using a patch job, Adding selected patches and applying patches once you select the patch families and patch types are automated processes. It is preferred for workstations. Let's now deploy the patches by using the patch groups. Before we start deploying patches, we must find out which patches and service packs are missing on the respective devices. To do that, select the patch management node. All elements of patch management are displayed. Select the Patch Detection node. Go to Scan Devices. Right-click and select Scan Device. The Assign to Device dialog box is displayed. Select the desired target and click OK. The Scheduler window is displayed. Click OK to confirm the default schedule and scan immediately and only once for missing patches. The device is scanned for missing patches and added to scan devices under the patch detection node. To follow the progress of the scan, select the scan devices node under patch detection. After the scan is complete, the scan completed status is displayed. The missing patch inventory is now generated. The device is now scanned for missing patches. An overview of the missing patches is created and can be used to fix security problems. In the previous step, we identified the missing patches, missing service packs, installed patches and installed service packs. In this step, we can check the installed and missing patches to get an idea which patches we want to deploy first. To do that, go to installed patches to check which patches are already installed. You can see all the installed patches for this device here. Select the missing patches node to check which patches are missing. Missing patches with the critical status should be fixed immediately. This step gives you an overview of all installed patches as well as missing patches which pose a threat to the security of the device in your network. After you have scanned a device for patches and got an overview of the current situation, your next task is to fix the most urgent ones. On the missing patches node, select the patches you want to deploy for the device. Let's deploy the Windows Update patch. Right-click and select Fix. The Patch or Service Pack Distribution Wizard is displayed. Select the automatic type of deployment. Specify Windows Update Patch as a name for the patch group. From the Deploy the Patches list, select Immediately and click Finish. A confirmation window is displayed asking if you want to automatically activate the patch group. Select the Go to Patch Group option and click Yes. This is the new patch group that you have just created. This new patch group immediately downloads and deploys the selected patches to the target device. 
You can monitor the deployment process in real time to follow its progress. Go to the Patches tab to follow the download progress. When all patches have the available status, go to Assigned Objects, and select Devices to follow the progress of the patch deployment. Wait until the device has the patch group successfully installed status. After the installation, the device is immediately scanned for patches again, and the list of missing patches and installed patches is updated. To verify the successful installation, go to Missing Patches and Installed Patches tab. Notice that the deployed patches have disappeared from the missing patches view and moved to the installed patches. Now let's deploy the patches by using a patch job. You need to create a new patch job first. To do that, go to Patch Jobs, right click and select Create Patch Job. The patch or service pack distribution wizard is displayed. Enter the name for the job, select the deployment option, and click Next. Select the kind of patches you want to deploy. You can select patches based on severity, type, and product family. In this window, you can schedule the interval and time at which the patch job is executed. To do that, define the execution interval as monthly, weekly, or daily in the deployment schedules section and define the time of execution in the time period section. Let's use the default schedule and click next. Now assign a device or device group to the patch job. Click assign device group or assign device. Select a device and click OK. Click Finish to confirm all choices and to start the download and patching process. The Active Patches tab of the newly created patch job is displayed. Right-click and select Retry Failed Downloads to request the patch manager to retry downloading all failed patch downloads. On this tab, you can monitor the deployment process in real-time to follow its progress. Once the patches are deployed on the device, you can generate patch reports. Patch reports offer you an overview and details of the patch situation for the respective patch job or patch group. To generate a patch report, select the patch job or patch group you want to generate a report for. Go to its Report Results subnode, right-click, and select Assign Report. The Assign a Report dialog box is displayed. Select the report and click OK. Select the respective options for the formats you want to generate and click OK. The report is generated in the specified format. To view the report, right-click the report and select View. The report opens on a new browser tab. You have now installed patches on a device and thereby made the device more secure. To further improve security, install other missing patches that affect your device. For more information about this topic, see the BMC online documentation portal. Thanks for watching.